to Gene and John and, and Mark and Tom and Tim, of course, as well. Look around, uh, look at the individuals that you've impacted and affected. Um, all of us uh, are proud and privileged to see this gem come to life, to come to reality. Um, I'd be remiss not to mention Aaron and Bobby. Uh, you guys don't know the countless uh, uh, committee uh, breakfasts that went into uh, this building itself. And to think that this is a decade in the making plus, right? Um, we as a community can be extremely proud uh, that we have this gem to remember our heritage and to preserve memories. Uh, you know, I was commenting to somebody just uh, just today, and I, I'll probably be saying it for a while, but the power plant was a pretty significant uh, deal for the village in our incorporation and in our becoming a community. And uh, it is in the right now being demolished. And if we were to fast forward a decade from now, uh, people probably won't even remember <laughs> that that, that uh, was on our horizon, that that uh, edifice uh, was a part of our community. Monuments as big as the power plant can be gone like that, but it's little monuments like this, moments like our historic museum that make a difference and last uh, throughout the ages and assist and help us as a community to preserve and to remember our society and what it means. If anything, we can remember the dedication, the, the, the blood, sweat, and breakfasts that went in uh, to this building and into this effort. And I wanna thank, um, I wanna thank the, the monumental efforts uh, that went into this facility and for the vision uh, that went into this facility. So I think all the volunteers, whether they are named or not, there are a lot of unnamed volunteers, volunteers that don't wanna be recognized even, right? Individuals that don't want to be known, uh, that deserve a round of applause. So if we can just give a round, another round of applause for that.